Hello guys, this is lesson number nine from my newest course about view and inertia, which I'm publishing here on YouTube day by day, lesson by lesson. And topic of today is building this form and submitting it actually all within single page application in inertia. Let's dive right into the lesson. So in the last lesson, we stopped before creating the login form. But to create the login form, we need to get familiar with forms and how they work in inertia in general. And we will do that based on another form. So we can go to post and in here, let's create add new post form. And then we will implement that form to the login form as well in the next lessons. So we need to create post create Vue.js component then route to that and then we need to submit the form so create the post route in routes web and redirect back and at the end of this lesson i will show you how inertia performs that redirect without violating the single page application so first if we go to the code to the posts index view let's do file save as and rename that or actually duplicate that to create dot view and this will be our form the title will be new post and with an app layout for now, let's add form here like this in the import. What do we need to do? We don't need posts at the moment and let's leave it as it is. Now in the routes web in web PHP, now we have route get posts and we will transform it into actual CRUD. So route resource instead of just index, it will be route resource posts to that post controller class and the route name is by default posts index. So we don't need to even provide the name here. So we change that to the posts. And then in the post controller, we need to create the create method public function create. And we return inertia inertia posts create and we don't need to pass anything here. Now let's launch post create posts create and we have our page form here. Great. Now let's put the link above the table or a button to add new post. And I will paste that from my notes to save you time from typing of classes of Tailwind. So add new post and the route will be post create. To use link and route here, we need to have a link at the bottom, right? So we copy it from the main app dot view. So we import the link or in fact, we just can use that as the list of inertia view three and add link here build successful and if we refresh we have add new post which leads to form here now let's build the form get back to the create dot view and i will paste the form from my notes again to save you some time from tailwind typing so instead of form here we will have paste this so we have a form later we will create a method for submit and then we have v model for the form title and v model for the form content and i will explain what form is in a minute and then we have submit button or link to get back to post index. Again, to use the link, we need to import it from here, from inertia view three in here link. Okay, build successful, but it won't work yet until we define the form. And we will use a helper from inertia, which will help us with the forms. There are actually two ways how you can post the form, submit the form with inertia manually or with helper. And you can see both examples online in tutorials, but I will show you the shorter way. So instead of doing inertia post and work with the fields manually, we will use a helper. So at the bottom, in addition to head and links, we will add use form again from inertia view three. And then, we will use a setup method of view three to define our form. Constant form will be equals object of title empty by default, content empty by default. And we return that form, return form like this, but that's not just any object. It will be a use form object, use form with these parameters. Build successful. And now if we refresh our page, we have this form with title and content. And if we click cancel, for example, we get back to the table, we click add new post. So the routing is working well. And now to submit our form first on the back end, let's create in the routes web, we do have already route resource. So if we go back to post controller, we need to create a store method. So public function store. For now, let it use the default request from Illuminate HTTP. We won't have the validation for now. We will add that in the next lesson. For now, let's just do post create. And then we provide just title request title and content request 
content like this and what do we return here we return redirect back right return redirect but not back but to the specific route of posts index which has nothing to do with inertia right it's just a typical laravel controller method store and redirect back but when we call that route in inertia helper way with use form look how it will work so we get to our submit prevent and we define that on submit we use our form which is from use form below remember then we do post to the route and that route is provided by ziggy package from a few lessons ago posts store and that's it we don't need any form method form action or anything like that so on submit of the form it will post to this route with this data let's try it out so refreshed our form i will use fake filler chrome extension save the post and look it redirected back and the new post is at the bottom and also what i wanted to show you as i mentioned in the very beginning of this lesson let's take a look at the network tab in the browser console let's refresh so we have all the assets loaded for the form and when we use fake filler chrome extension the way how laravel would work it would post the data and redirect back to the route refreshing the full page with all the assets now look what happens with inertia save post as you can see the redirect happens 302 page but the result of that redirect is only posts without any assets reloaded so posts is a json result like we would use that in inertia directly so inertia is smart enough to catch the redirect on the back end this one and perform that redirect with single page application so that's another benefit of using inertia with laravel in the next lesson we will take care of the validation of the form